Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this little planter down here. Sure you can see it, it's just a little basket that my tree is in. This is actually a fake tree which I got from TK Maxx a little while ago now and I needed a planter for it. I was going to buy one but I just couldn't find one that was like the right fit because it's quite an awkward size pot that thing come in and it's obviously the weight to the fake tree so I can't remove it or anything so it had to be put into something. Anyway, as I have started the new Trash to Treasure series on my channel, I figured that this would be a perfect kind of video to include here. So I thought I would film the DIY for you and share it just to kind of, you know, spark a little bit of inspiration for you guys and I thought that would be fun to share. While I am here, I do want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has joined me over the last couple weeks. I really, really appreciate it. We we have grown like by I don't know four or five times over in the past like two to three weeks which is absolutely insane and I cannot thank you enough I am replying to all comments still on the channel so if you have any questions anything that you want to you know say anything you want to request anything like that please do comment it down below as I'm reading every single one and trying to reply to them all as well so yeah without further ado let's just get straight on into the video so if you've seen the thumbnail, you would know that I actually made this planter from a cardboard box. What I went ahead and did was basically tore open the box and then I just made little slits down the kind of flat bits of one side of the box. I then realised that I could kind of, you know, move this into a circle shape by taping down the sides, but the top bits were kind of getting in the way, so I cut those off also. I basically just was left with a strip of cardboard with loads of like tassel bits of cardboard down one side. To make the shape curved, I just put it down on the floor and just moved some of the strips overlapping them in the middle to make a circle-like shape, taping it with duct tape as I went along. Hopefully that makes sense, but it is really hard to kind of explain. But as you can see here, I'm just kind of moving them around to create a cylinder-like shape from the main cardboard section, just taping it down. Once I got to the end, I just used loads of duct tape just to hold that piece in place and just secure it down. I did go ahead and use loads and loads of duct tape because once you start sticking, oh my god, it gets so addictive. And I did end up using probably half of this roll of duct tape. I went a bit overboard, but I just wanted to make sure it was nice and secure. So I fully covered the bottom in duct tape with all those overlapping kind of bits of cardboard. And then I fully covered all the joins as well as covering the top raw edges of the cardboard. I don't know why I did that. I just thought that that would be a little bit better, but it didn't have any function. Um, I realised that the kind of bulk where I kind of overlapped the little slits did like make a little lumpy bumpy inside so I just removed that with the tip of my scissors and then I cut out a circle of cardboard and just placed that inside to make a flat finish. I then went ahead and just started reinforcing the inside of the cardboard kind of planter with some duct tape also making sure that the base was fully stuck down. I just put my tree in at this point to make sure that it was a good fit and then I actually went ahead and burnt all of the leftover kind of cardboard in my fire as it was night time and I needed a little bit of extra fuel so it came in really handy for that. Anyway moving on I then took some of this coconut rope which is actually like choir rope or something I think it's called you know forgive me I, I actually don't know um, but this I found in Lidl the other day when I was doing my weekly shop and they had 30 meters in there they were two 15 meter rolls for 1.99 or you could get two packs for three pounds so it was 1.99 for 30 meters or three pounds for 60 meters anyway what I went ahead and did was just took my hot glue gun and started hot gluing this rope all the way around the cardboard planter so I did this kind of like as neatly as I possibly could. It took me absolutely forever. I think it took me about mm, an hour and a half maybe in total to get this all done. Just because I wanted it to be really neat and as close knit as possible. As well as kind of really structurally like you know that. I didn't want it to be like glued here there and everywhere. I wanted it to be fully glued all the way around and just you know nice and neat. So I got about three quarters of the way up when I needed to kind of change over ropes. But before I actually did that, I went ahead and cut off some little excess pieces to use as handles. So these don't actually, you know, serve as any function. Like, to be honest, I don't know if it would be strong enough to kind of pick up with these handles, but I thought it would add a little bit of extra detail. So I just went ahead and cut off a strip. I hot glued each side down and put some clear tape over it just to kind of secure it down into place. 
I then went ahead and carried on wrapping the whole planter with the rope. I just joined up the new rope to the old rope section and then just carried on gluing like I did before. Now I didn't realise even though my ropes came in the same packet, they were slightly different and I realised that the next morning once I got into like natural light that they were completely different colours. Um, you know you can kind of see it a bit here but in natural light you can completely tell the difference. So if you want a kind of uniform look, um, maybe try and get a longer length of rope or make a smaller planter if you're going to be buying the same rope as me. Anyway, like I said, I just carried on going and once I got to the handles, I just started gluing over the top of them just like I would throughout the whole rest of the planter, just going round and round and round. I then got right up to the top on some bits and then realised that my rope laying skills was a little bit wonky, so I just went ahead and removed any of the excess cardboard and that nice duct tape that I put over and that served no purpose. Like I said, it just served no purpose. I just did it for absolutely no reason. I think I just got a little bit tape happy. So for the last kind of like rope twirling round, I actually put the glue on top of the last layer so that the rope was kind of higher than the cardboard. I then just did this all the way around the actual, you know, top of the basket just to kind of bring those edges up over the raw edges. Once I got all the way round, I then kind of like held the basket handles down and then started at bringing it in, but down a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense. So it kind of like made a little arch around the cardboard. So this time I was actually sticking to the cardboard and not to the rope. So basically I was trying to like, you know, encase that cardboard edge in because to be honest, we don't need people to know that this is cardboard. We just need it to look real pretty. Anyway, once I had fully done that, I then decided the inside just looked too messy for my liking and needed to be lined with something. So I actually just had the idea of just taking this plastic bag and I cut off the top half and then just glued it into the edge of the inside of the basket. I just used hot glue once again just to kind of really secure that in and I did that all the way around and then I just cut off all the excess. I then hot glued all the raw edges down to make sure that they were fully in place also and not going anywhere and like that and then I just went back in with my rope making sure to kind of go over all of those raw edges of the bag and just really encase it back in. Now if you wanted to line your basket with something else, something a bit more decorative, fabric would do really well, old clothing, old shirt maybe, a good thing like a checkered shirt that might be a nice you know, touch. If you're having a coastal theme in your um, house then maybe some like linen ticking, something like that, something a nice blue colour would be perfect. So once all the rope work was then finished, I actually moved on to cover up the bottom. As you can see, I did use a whole load of duct tape, so I just wanted to cover that up. I just took a piece of wool felt and lay that down. I drew around my basket with a pencil and then cut that shape out. I then took some hot glue and hot glued around the edge of the basket and I just laid the felt down just to kind of cover that all up, cover the mess. No one needs to know that this is made from cardboard and duct tape, so I thought a felt would be a nice kind of, you know, twist to the bottom. I just hot glued that all the way around the edges and in the centre and once that was done, my basket was then complete. So this is the before with the weighted pot in that I mentioned. This is it after with the pot inside of the basket. I think it just ties it all in and makes it look super kind of put together. And I'm really, really impressed with the fact that it only cost me two pounds to make. I've had so many compliments on it already and not one single person has even guessed it's handmade, so even better. <laughs> So that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you're planning to do any DIYs over this weekend, anything like that. I would really love to know as I need a little inspiration for myself. I am planning to bring a few more furniture pieces into this living room, hopefully a chair where I'm sat so I no longer have to sit on the floor and you have to see like my butt and my feet in that annoying mirror over there. Like, if you've never noticed that, it really bugs me when I go back to edit these videos. So hopefully when I get a chair, you won't have to see that anymore. Um, I am also planning to do a few furniture upcycles, maybe some cushions, um, some more decor pieces. And then when we go into summer, I think I'm going to change over all my decor in May for summer. I have a strong theme for my kitchen that I'm going to be doing DIYs for. Not too sure about in here, actually. I think I might keep it kind of the way I want it to look all year round with some kind of, you know, seasonal decor pieces in. So it needs like a whole rejig, like everything at the moment is still as it was 
kind of when we first moved in and got this living room. I think we've had this living room now for about five, six months and we haven't really done much with it. So yeah, I'm gonna be overhauling basically my whole house. It all needs finishing off. We've been renovating it kind of ourselves and with parents help and everything like that. And um, nothing's finished, not a single room room makeover videos does that make sense like before and afters i think because i find them really interesting it's my favorite favorite kind of like type of video genre of video to watch on youtube and i think that it would be really interesting as well to do like living room tour <laughs> something i don't know i'm totally rambling on now so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this diy and could take away some inspiration from it maybe to get out a cardboard box make a little planter for yourself i don't know it could be for storage anything like that i don't know hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway and i will see you very soon for another diy video i'm sure i may do a vlog soon i may do a q a or something like that so if you have any questions you want to ask me make sure to ask them down below as well because I'm not sure how else I'm going to ask for questions. I'll ask on my Instagram, of course, but I think it might be fun just to kind of like throw in a little Q&A so you can get to know me better um, as you obviously new to this channel. So yeah, I am going to go now. I really am rambling on. Um, so yeah, hopefully you all have a fantastic end of the week and a fantastic weekend ahead and I will see you very soon. Bye!